Welcome back to Johnny Reads. Last time I told you about my 2017 reading challenge that I was hosting, and now I'm going to tell you the first book that I read for. The first book that I read was The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. The little tidbit that I'm going to give you, because I always give you a little bit, is that you have this group of Americans, and uh, they're American, they're English, and they're going from Paris to Spain, Pamplona, for a fiesta, and the running of the bulls, and that's pretty much it. I have nothing positive to say about this book. First, there's one female main character. Her name is Brett Ashley, and she actually says in the book that she has no self-worth. And the, how it is, is she supposedly loves the main character. She goes off to Spain with a different character for a, a good while, vacation. She's in a somewhat of a relationship with another character. And she says that they're going to get married. But then while they're in Spain for the fiesta, she goes off with a young bullfighter. So, I mean, obviously... Any man, any woman, you can do whatever you want. You can, you can treat anybody however you like. You can do with your body whatever you want to. I mean, I hate to say it, but she was completely objected by the entire book. She was going from one man to another to another to another. I hated the way her character was written 100% from start, to, from start to finish. The second thing that I absolutely hated is that there was one Jewish character. And the entire time, the entire book, every other main character in this little group, I think it was like, six or seven characters, whatever, however many people it was, just on and on about how he's this and how he's that and how he's this and how he's that. And it's like, I don't understand why he's got to be Jewish and he's got to have all these people just all nagging on him and, and saying all these negative things the entire book about him. The third part that I really didn't like about the book was that the whole premise of this thing was to go see the bullfighting and the running of the bulls in Pamplona. And I don't understand what the point is of glamorizing and glorifying bullfighting and animal cruelty. I mean, people like to say, oh, well, it was a different era. I mean, we literally do this today. People still go to Spain for the running of the bulls and to, to see bullfighting. And yeah, this book might be a hundred years old, but I, I, it, it boggles my mind how someone can go and sit in an amphitheater to watch bulls or people be killed. I don't understand it, and nothing anybody ever says will ever enable me to understand why bullfighting is legal at all. Another thing is, every character, and I mean every single character in the book, I'm talking the eight, seven, eight, however many it was in this little group that you follow the whole book, is an alcoholic. And I mean, I'm talking like a raging alcoholic. Like these people, they they start yelling um, random things and, and being just out of it every time, whenever they get drunk. And it's, it's funny and they make jokes and it's, again, I still understand, like, I understand that people drink. I understand that people uh, like drinking when they're out having a good time or whatever. I don't, but that's, you know. But in this, it was like he made a point to make sure that every character was a drunk. And it's, it's fucking stupid. Like, it's so dumb. And it's so overdone. Like, how unoriginal can you be that every character has to be a drunk? Like, that... Like, get out of here with that, honestly. And I... It just didn't make any sense to me. I hated it. And it when you have that happening in a book that you already don't like, it's like you're just piling on the negativity that I'm feeling towards the stupid book. There was one black character that was being described. And he wasn't even a character. He was a person. They were just describing a black, a black man, basically. I think he was a drummer. For no reason at all, these two characters, they were just saying the N-word over and over to describe this guy. And it was like... People talk about different errors and... and, and not judging people for that, but 
if we're not gonna judge them <laughs> for their actions, then what are we what are we doing? You know, we just people now. We just college football coaches for leaving teams, but I can't judge uh, someone who's called, saying the N word over and over for no reason um, just because it was 1924 or whatever year the book was written. That's fucking stupid. That's that's dumb. There's no justification for using it, and there's no justification for using it ever. So yeah, uh, when you have one black character in the entire book, and he just he just described as the n-word over and over again it's like you know and it makes you wonder you know what does what does Hemingway say you know what does he say whenever he's uh, around a black person or something I just hated it last thing was that throughout the dialogue of the entire book these characters like I said most of the time they were drunk they would ask questions and they would ask them over and over and over again I mean just not like three or four times literally the exact same question the exact same wording and then after nobody's answering, nobody's paying them any attention, they would just answer their own question. And it's like, it's like, what the, f like, what the fuck? Like, what? It's, oh man, I, I didn't understand it. I don't understand the writing style. I didn't, I hated the writing style. Uh, I didn't like any part of the book. I thought the story was so boring and uneventful that I could have spent my five hours I took reading this doing anything else and it would have been more interesting. But that's just me. So let me know in the comments if you've read any Ernest Hemingway book, and in particular if you've read The Sun Also Rises, and tell me what you thought. You know, obviously I have some strong opinions on here on this one. For my 2017 Reno Challenge was the a 20th century classic. Although classic, for me personally, I would never put that with this book at all. I'll see you next time.